Okay, so now we are going to look at the structure of the cell membrane. So you see, remember, we talk about the different molecules that are found in the cell membrane. So this is the inside of the cell membrane. This is inside of the cell membrane and this is outside the cell membrane. And of course, this is a protein molecule. And this one is a protein molecule and this one is a protein channel. It's a channel where molecules used to pass in and out of the cell. And there is also carbohydrate chain. And this is the carbohydrate chain. This is how it looks like. And this is the protein. So you see here, you have carbohydrate and proteins attached to. So because proteins and carbohydrate are attached and it's called glycoproteins. Glycoproteins. So whenever you have proteins and carbohydrate together, you have glycoproteins. And of course, this is a lipid by layer. This one is one of the layer and this is another layer. So that is why it's considered or it's called lipid by layer. So this is how actually the structure of the cell membrane look like, okay? So now the next thing that we are going to look at is uh, the membrane components. You see, in the membrane components, we have phospholipids, we have cholesterol, we have proteins, we have glycocylins, we have peripheral proteins, we have cytoskeletal protein and then we have integral proteins. So these are actually also another component of the cell membrane. But we are going to look at them one after the other as the time goes on. But I know that actually I actually make actually the general uh, explanation of most of this thing. So, so now we are going to look at the functions of cell membrane. What are the functions of cell membrane? Number one, it keeps the cell intact. It also protects, it's a protective barrier. It controls also transport in and out of the cell, that is selective permeability. It allows some certain substances to get into the cell and this allows some substances to get into the cell. And then there are also small, there are also small lipid soluble molecules. So all those small lipid molecules can just get easily passed into the cell. Example, oxygen and carbon dioxide can easily pass into the cell. Then the water can freely also cross the cell membrane. So these are actually some kind of the functions of the cell membrane. It keeps the cell intact. It actually protects the cell. It regulates the transfer of substances in and out of the cell. Like for example, the, lip the lipid soluble molecules can easily pass into and out of the cell. And then the next thing after this is uh, also it allows cellular recognition. Ions and larger molecules cannot actually cross without assistance or they need assistance. And then protect, provide anchoring site for filament of cytoskeletal. It provide a binding site for enzymes. It also serves as an interleukin. It also serves as an interleukin also serve as an interlocking surfaces that bind cells together. So that is what you call a cellular junction. Like for example, when you have a cellular growth or when you have your growth, how is that growth actually happen? The growth is usually happening when one cell binds with another cell, another cell binds with another cell, another cell binds with another cell until actually the cell are fully joined together. And that is how you are going to have a complete tissue. So one cell binds with another tissue, so one cell provides an interleukin region for another cell to join until you have a tissue. And from the tissue, you have organs. From the tissue, from the organs, of course, you will have a system. Okay? So now, the membrane structure, the membrane consists of phospholipid barrier combined with a variety of protein in a, in a fluid mosaic arrangement. What is a fluid mosaic arrangement? What is a fluid mosaic arrangement? It means that all these lipid and proteins that are found in the cell membrane actually in a fluid mosaic arrangement. When you say fluid mosaic arrangement, it means that they can shift. They can move from one point to another. That is fluid mosaic model. We are going to look at the model because there are scientists, there are scientists that actually talk about this fluid mosaic model. And then the surface of the cell membrane are hydro. Felix, that is the water level and the interior are uh, hydropoyamic. Because this is it, if you look at it from the, from our previous discussion, all this, all this is the 
Weta Lobin region of the set. This one for so this Weta Lobin region of the set. And this is the the tail region. This is the tail region. Okay. So now the next thing that we are going to look at is the models of plasma membrane. So the models of the plasma membrane, the, the first scientist that actually come up with the model of the plasma mem membrane is Danielli and Dobson in the year 1835. Studied triacyl lipids bilayers over a water surface. They found that they arranged themselves with the fuller heads facing outward. So it means that in this case, the lipid bilayer, the lipid bilayer or the lipid bilayer structure of the lipids is actually discovered by this Danielli and Dobson. Remember, I've been saying that the lipid, the membrane is actually in the form of bilayer. So this bilayer of lipids, this bilayer of lipids is actually discovered by Danielli and Dobson in the year 1835. Ladies and gentlemen, I, at these junctions, I would like you, I would like to tell you that. This kind of the scientists, Danielli and Dobson, they are actually the scientists that make a significant part of findings in the concept of cellular biology because they are the first scientists that was able to demonstrate that the lipid is made up of bilayers. And these bilayers are found that their arrangement is that the polar head is facing outward, while the non-polar head is facing inward. So it always formed a droplet that is oil in water and the surface tension was much higher than that of the cell. So this theory or this theory that proposed by this Danielli and Dobson about the lipid bilayer is called a sandwich model. It's called a sandwich model. So this is the model that was actually discovered by this scientist Danielli and Dobson in the year 1935. Okay. So now the next thing that we are going to talk about the is uh, Danielli and Dobson. So you see the model, it says that, okay, this is the polar head and this is the lipid bilayer. So if you look at it, you can see that clearly this is one layer and this is another layer. And that is the mean of lipid bilayer. And this component is the polar head polar heads, polar heads, and this is a non-polar tail, non-polar tail, non-polar tail. And then, apart from this non-polar tail, and this is also a polar pole, this is a pole, where a polar molecule is a levers. So you see the concept of Danielli and Dobson is just about the the bilayer nature of the cell membrane. Okay. And then the next thing is Robertson's model. This Robertson in the year 1965 noted that the structure of cell membrane is seen in the electron micrographs. So it means that it's only using the electron micrographs will be able to see the structure of the cell membrane. And he saw no space for faults in the electron microscope. He hypothesized, he hypothesized that the railroad track appearance came from the binding of osmium tetraoxide to proteins and nonpolar group of lipids. So he proposed unit membrane hypothesis. So this Robertson is actually the scientist that actually come up with the unit membrane hypothesis. And this unit membrane hypothesis is all about how the appearance of the cell membrane to look like based on the using of osmium tetraoxides. So he used tet osmium tetraoxides to demonstrate the concept of unit membrane hypothesis. He used the osmium tetraoxides to propose the unit membrane hypothesis. So this work is actually done by a scientist called Robertson in the year 1965. Okay, and then after this, the next thing that we look at, that we are going to look at is number one. Under these Robertson models, you see that we have extracellular sites, and then we have 
glycoproteins and of course we have a lipid bilayer so this is just the unit the unit that is the unit model that is it allow only uh it has only it there is no space or there is no pulse it shows that the membrane there is no pulse look at it from here you can see that there is no pulse it there is no pulse for the molecules to get in so they are all controlled by the proteins that are found there and then Apart from the Robertson model, the next thing that we are going to look at is fluid mosaic model. So the fluid mosaic model is actually proposed by Singer and Nicholson. Singer and Nicholson in the year 1972. So these are the scientists, Singer and Nicholson. They are the scientists that came up with an idea of fluid mosaic model. The biological membrane can be considered as a two-dimensional liquid where all the lipid and protein molecule diffuse more or less for you. So single study first polyphid by there and found that they can form a platinum surface on water with no requirement for a protein culture. So it occurs. So this 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 concept of uh Singer and Nicholson is all about how the lipid nature, the lipid nature of the cell membrane, where all the proteins, where all the proteins and phospholipid are platinum and free water surface, and they can move from one point to another. So it occurs in the form of also globular proteins. It means that in the cell membrane, there are so many proteins and there are so many carbohydrates and lipids. So most of those proteins, they are like a mass in a pinch. And that fluid actually allows some of those molecules to move from one point to another. And that is a concept of fluid mosaic model, and it is widely accepted and then the next thing is still under this fluid mosaic model under this fluid mosaic model it's just to tell you that look at how the glycoproteins glycolipids and whatsoever if you look at them all of them they are the membranes split into layers in free structure in the electron microscope so this is what actually electron microscope show so ladies and gentlemen i think this is just what you need to understand from the cell membrane so try to get all the concept of this model and what that does ladies if you have a